This uh, tutorial is going to be about setting the blade, which you just put a piece of cane in the bed and then take the blade and fit rather easily. And you'll have a screw that has a washer and a lock washer on it. Most of the screws are M4. And it's a fairly deep well, threaded well for it. Now the other aspect of the blade is putting this adjustment. This is an M3 uh, Phillips head. And you just screw that in to the back of the blade. And this will help you adjust it by moving it uh, slightly. And see if you cannot center it, eyeball it. You may not be able to see them, but there are ridges, very fine ridges in the uh, machining of the guide. And those will help grab onto the blade so it doesn't slip and slide too much. Now this is where we find out if the cane stops are gonna work or not. Once we put a piece of cane in there. The other thing about the cane is it's important that the cane is not too wide, otherwise the guides will not work correctly. So you wanna measure it and you don't want it to be really beyond eight millimeters. And it's about, it's almost nine. So we're gonna plane this a little bit with a planer. And what happens is the blade will not make contact at all <coughs> with the cane if it's too wide. And it's a little more reasonable, it's about eight now. Pretty close to, to eight millimeters wide. That's about where you want it. So the blade is too exposed. We just want a little sliver of it, very little of it to expose it. So we're going, I'm not going to just rub my finger on the bottom until I find that it's just a little bit of it exposed. And that seems to be very fine. Now I haven't soaked this cane and I like using dry cane at first and it kind of gives me a, um, an idea of how much we need to do. Now, let's see, that's not taking any, I think it may be. Now that the thread lock is cured, we'll be able to turn this without affecting the screw. And yeah, that's not half bad. Let's see. I think we have a ways to go. So cane stops. Now I want it to be lower so I'm going to turn it clockwise just a bit. Seems as though the blade is cutting all right. It's just not low enough. Okay, a little lower. You turn about five minutes at it. You can hear the hitting the cane stop. So I need to move that cane stop just a bit lower. Because you want them to work, but then they can't interfere. Very fine. slightly more I think. Now when I say from the center to the sides I mean from the center of the blade is where you want it to start cutting. And if it's left or right this is a little left. What I'm gonna do is I want to move the blade to the right. So I'm gonna move this screw 
which isn't even touching. I'm going to move it slightly, and you'll see the blade move, so you do it very slightly. And that did move it more to the center, which is nice. I would just gradually bring it down until we get it. All park on the right. It's really not a hard machine to put the blade in. It's not difficult. We're about 82. I need to bring it down some more. I'm just doing a little at a time. And yeah, we're hitting the cane guard. You can hear it. I think the back one is actually okay. It's the front one that's just... You can hear it hitting. And I think we'll have it. It could be that it's not straight. That's the other thing. Yeah. The bed is a little crooked, so I'm going to loosen this bottom a bit. And there you go. Now the bed is straight. Oh, this should work. Yeah, let's try this. I think that's very close. Might be slightly heavy. Very, very little. Little measures make big changes, so let's try. It did move. I saw it move slightly. Tighten it again. I think that's better. Let's try this side. Now this is, cane is dry, so <laughs> it's going to be a little When, you know, trying to get the blade in there exactly where it should be, it's a lot of trial and error. You know, it's just you do a little bit at a time, that's all. And uh, get it close and then tweak it slightly and uh, keep trying. And you will find it. It's just cutting it about... Um, ten hundredths of a millimeter, which is a little thick. It should just essentially just glide across the top and uh, remove that cane. So let's try another piece. And I think I'm going to try to fiddle with the back here. It's not quite where it should be. So let's get that up. Take a tiny bit less out. Now what I'm going to do is make sure it's level, crank this up, and there we go, I just think that's too heavy. Yeah, it's still cutting a little bit from the left side, so I might move the blade slightly. You have to pull this plug off, or if it's a cap, 
open the cab. I'm just going to turn this a little bit. Up. And let's try this piece. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's cutting from the center. That's pretty nice. Yes. Now this is where I get kind of perfinicky, you know, because it's it's really very good, but I want it better. I just gotta fix this back part here. I think we're okay. The front cane stop is working fine. It's just the back one isn't working so good. But it's gouging right. And uh, let's see, let's measure it. Yeah, it's spot on, 60 in the middle. Yeah, 60 in the middle. It's right there. And then the sides are. Yeah, this goes down to 43, as you can see where that is. Mm -hmm. So, it's a good gouge. It's a very strong gouge, but it also vibrates really well. That's partly because the blade is so sharp. You want a sharp blade. The only final touches that we have are these guys. Little rubber bumpers for the bottom. And actually, these are kind of neat because they keep it from sliding around. So if you use it on your desktop, I know a lot of people gouge in their laps, but if you do it on the desktop, it won't move. It'll just stay right where it is. Let's do this one. That's the machine assembled, set up, and ready to go. The stops are working well. The gouge is working well. It's all solid. Um, assembling it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, setting the blade will probably be one of the more difficult aspects of it, but that usually is with any machine. It's just a trial and error. But once you have it and you get the blade cutting down the center, gently pull it back, turn it back. Um, it'll be it'll work uh, really well for you. I used uh, dry cane, but. It'll be a little easier with the soaked cane. I hope that helps you out. If you've got any questions, let me know. And uh, enjoy the machine. I think you're going to like it very much.